Hello and welcome to Storyland here in central New Hampshire. This is a park I've wanted to come to for quite some time despite it only having two roller coasters. Those two roller coasters have really um, enticed me for some time as they're somewhat unique for family coasters and thrilling from what I've been told. And this is not an easy park to get to. It really is in the center of New Hampshire's forests, very off the beaten path, but it's actually resort country and very beautiful around here, especially the time of year that I'm getting here, which is just in the cusp of the fall season. So lots of colors in the forests and trees around here too. Uh, relatively busy as they're having a Halloween event today. Uh, so we're gonna go and check out really the coasters themselves. Um, I'm only here for an hour and a half. So we're gonna get a quick little idea what this park is about as my palace entertainment pass allowed for free admission. So we're here, finally, in New Hampshire, Storyland. 70 years of this park, so I'm glad that I finally got here during an anniversary year. Let's check it out. And it's a fairly busy day here. They're having their trick-or-treat event.
Okay, so I've been on Rorosaurus and I've been on the polar coaster. I thought I had the benefit of time here because, uh, yeah, it was pretty much a walk on for both of them. The only problem is they both have gone down simultaneously. I don't want to sound like, uh, you know, I'm a moaner or anything like that, but I've had a very bad year for coasters suddenly breaking down as soon as I get to the station. It's happened four times this trip alone and twice in this park simultaneously. Outside of that, however, the park is brilliantly laid out. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most beautiful, beautiful of parks. It's very quaint and uh, it is picturesque, but uh, it is a bit spaced out and a little bit clunky in its sort of um, theming, if you will. Like there's some cool theming, but it kind of like, it goes from like the polar area here to like a German town, but it's actually got Dutch on the buildings. And then you have like the bamboo shoots, the log ride that I won't be able to get on because it's closed for the season. And then they have Rory's Fun Factory, a dinosaur themed indoor play area. So it's, uh, yeah, it's some interesting theming throughout. Okay, we're gonna go back to Rorosaurus, cross our fingers that it's running again, because they were having a brake problem. The techie did say that it was gonna be down for a while, but it's not much we can do. We'll make the most of it. started some test runs shortly after I filmed that last portion so fingers crossed we can get on it again I'm talking about Rorosaurus uh, the tenant was at the entrance she's like ah we're gonna be closed for a bit but we don't know when it's gonna open and then she kind of just ran away so here's hoping that we can get on <laughs> Well, not done. I'm going to go on it one more time because it did manage to reopen, which is fantastic. And this is a fantastic wood coaster. In fact, it's such a small profile, but it might be one of the best, like, top 10, top 15 wood coasters in the country because it packs so much of a punch. Just, I don't know how they actually managed to fit as many airtime hills as they did into this layout, but they have. Uh, it's perfectly situated in this area of the park. Well done, the Rorosaurus, the gravity crew beast of a coaster, and that is no joke. Ten airtime hills I could count on that ride. Really, more parks need a coaster like that. So many overbanks, so much packed in such a short layout, and really like a lift hill that's like, what, 40 feet, something like that? 
unbelievable. Uh, yeah, got five rides on it finally, so very happy and really could re-ride that all day, as many people here are. Uh, Wooden Warrior, which I rode yesterday, some kids did 20 times before noon, so if you come to parks like this, you could definitely take advantage of the, say, it's a smaller family park, so you're not going to get crazy crowds at a park like this, but it has a world-class wooden roller coaster, I'll say right now. At least a world-class family wooden roller coaster. It can hold a torch to many bigger, thrilling wood coasters out there that really can't even get anywhere near what the thrills of that ride has. Glad I got on it. It was definitely worth coming down here for that fun. We are going to take this nice little path that's going to lead us back to the entrance of Storyland. <laughs> Without checking out this cabin, to be honest, we've kind of underserved this park as far as its details are concerned. I would have liked to have had more time here. We are going to a far-flung destination with a similar theme, however in Six Flags Great Escape. Very happy with the end result of my visit here, however. Managed to get on three rides onto the polar coaster. That ride, yeah, it was, uh, I'd say the best thing about it is that sound, the roar that it makes as it uh, goes through the course of the track. I do love these parks that have like these houses and sort of like areas to escape and sort of discover. You know, definitely reminds me of a park that I would have loved to have visited in my childhood for sure. Um, yeah, polar coaster, it was decent. I, after that second turn though, it definitely takes a lot of G's or gives you, throws you around in the car a fair amount with its G's. Uh, so it's not uh, really surprising why it has that break just before it does the final helix, because it would be kind of intense if it did. Good ride, very, very smooth for its age. Love the way it's situated in the park and it's contouring, excellent. Um, I'd say like, it's one of the better sort of steel family kitty coasters out there in this park. There was a kid that's three years old that managed to get on Rorosaurus, and that kid is ready for big thrills in his adult life without question. And here's the master of ceremonies and star of our show, ha, the Happy Farm Boy. Hello, gang. We'd like you to meet one of our guys who has a problem. He thinks nobody likes him. May I introduce myself? My name is Mr. Weed. You'll find me growing in the ground. So regretfully, that's a wrap here from Storyland. Don't know when I'll be back. Uh, they really would need another ride to get me back here. Don't want to rule anything out about coming back, but you never know. Uh, but for now, definitely glad I finally got here. Like I said, it's not too easy to get here from where I'm from, but it was definitely worth it. Rorosaurus is a world-class wood coaster despite its size and its intention. Uh, it's wild. And despite the trains too. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I'm not a big fan of those Timberliner trains, but there seem to be a necessity on these smaller gravity group coasters, so it is what it is. And I'm gonna be riding another one shortly in the next vlog, so join me for that at Six Flags Great Escape, as I finally get on Bobcat for the first time and also see their Halloween event. But for now, as always guys, thank you for dropping in.